this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University and today I would like to show you how to plant marigold with food plants. Now marigolds are a traditional plant that's planted around a vegetable garden and the reason for that is it helps with nematode control. And nematodes more often than not attack anything in the nightshade family which includes peppers, tomatoes, and eggplants. So I'm going to show you how to combine marigolds and an eggplant in a raised bed. You can utilize this technique in more of a traditional garden or even in a container garden. But keep in mind that nematode control as far as marigolds is only good for one year. So repeated use of planting marigolds in the garden area to help control nematodes is not going to work if you plant it year after year after year. So just keep that tip in mind. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to prepare your garden soil, whatever your garden may be, container garden, traditional garden, raised bed, and you simply do that by loosening up the soil and adding compost to it. And you want to add a good amount of compost to the soil. You can't overdo compost. If you're planting plants, you can add a slow release fertilizer at that point. If you're planting seeds, wait until those seeds germinate before you add a slow release fertilizer. This plant I actually have just pulled out and I'm going to show you how to plant. This is an eggplant. I'm going to dig a hole and I'm going to put my plant in there. Now, to get the best effect of the marigold, I'm going to plant the marigold relatively near the eggplant and planting it in this corner is going to be a perfect location. Now as you can see the root mass of this marigold because it's more of a mature plant is actually pretty big and so what I'm going to need to do is I don't need the hole to be any deeper than that, but I need it to be about as twice as wide as this marigold's root mass. So I'm going to dig the hole And I don't want to dig it so deep that the soil level in this raised bed is deeper than the soil level that this plant came from. So I'm going to put the plant in here. I'm going to check it with my hand, making sure that my hand is level. And then I'm going to fill in. Now, if you had plants who were in plastic containers, you would need to tip them upside down, tap on them, and release them from the container. If you don't want to use that approach, you can take a knife or a pair of scissors and gently cut that plastic container away from the plant, tease the roots, and then plant them like we did in this raised bed. So give this technique a try. It's a great organic technique for the control of nematodes and many other pests that you find in your vegetable garden space. So until we meet in the garden again, this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University.